Osceola Wild Turkey. When you think of South Florida, most people think of gators and swamp. These turkeys are found only in the Florida Peninsula in the southern part of the state. And these swamps, hammocks, and palmetto patches were the hunting grounds of the Seminole Indians. This subspecies was named in 1890 by W.E.D. Scott after the famous Seminole Indian chief, Osceola. These turkeys and all wildlife have thrived here in this habitat for a very, very long time. Every time we head to South Florida, we think about these long spurred turkeys and the history of the Native Americans that hunted them as well. So come along and join the Primos team as we begin a South Florida Osceola hunting adventure. Primos Truth About Hunting is brought to you by Bushnell, Savage Arms, Drake, Mossy Oak, Onyx Hunt, Matthews Archery, Black Gold, Ripcord, Ozonics, Tight Spot Quivers, and Primo's Honey, Speak the Language. We arrive and meet up with our longtime friend and guide, Brad Gibson, owner of G3 Outfitters. I think we've been driving a long ways. <laughs> You've uh, never seen this part of Florida. No, I haven't. I wonder why I came here to hunt turkeys. <laughs> we hunting turkeys. You I might even see a lion, a tiger, a bear out right here. Where we're at. Yeah. I saw a hen right outside of the road. <laughs> yeah, she was right outside the fence. Yeah. yeah. That road where I was talking to the boy on, yeah. every morning he pulls in, they're strutting up and down that road right there when he oh. pulls in. Yeah. One arrow says it's super straight. Another is extreme straight, whatever that means. So what's true? Every arrow comes straight out of the box, but only one stays straight in the truck, through the air, out the rib cage, and into the dirt, shot after shot. That's gold tip straight. Start tough, stay true. What matters to you right now? This past year has taught us anything at all is that we need to redefine what matters to us. What matters to us is spending time with our people. God, we thank you for this food. And giving thanks for all that we've been given. At Mossy Oak, what matters to us is helping you get closer to nature. What matters to us is in our DNA. All right, big turkey guy, what's the plan? We're going to the swamp this morning. Going to the swamp, the Cypress Swamp. The famous swamp. We've killed many turkeys down there over the years. Yes, we have. Are there any down there this year? No, they ain't never there. They ain't there? They ain't there. I didn't think so. That's, <laughs> what, that's why we're going there. That's right. All right, well, it sounds good. Yes, sir. Are you going to get up and go or sit there? Are we there? ready to go? I'm always ready. There you go. I'm pepping that step. <sighs> Once more. <laughs> you need to walk them through some mud, Brad. Those boats are looking. Oh, I'm gonna move them. Oh yeah. It's probably like right. knee high. This is uh, our official. It's just like our second day here, but this is our official first morning. And the walk outside, it's got like got one of those good turkey filling mornings. It's crisp. It's clear. You can see all the stars in the sky. So. We can go to this spot that we've been to several times before, like Jimmy was alluding to, and 
Lord willing, we'll get into a goblin turkey. Alluded to. That's a good big word for you. Well, they teach us those at Mississippi State. Oh, they did? Yeah. I wonder what they taught you. Mm. It's wonderful. They All taught right, us not to get shiny boots to turkey hunt in, too. Apparently, they don't well, teach that. Like, every pair of boots you ever owned were new at one time, okay? I'm just... I wore these in honor of, you know, my hunt with you and Jordan. Right. Well, he's got old hand-me-downs. Yeah, I had to get this from your cousin. So we didn't get much, get much roost goblin at all. I don't know if a turkey that we've heard gobble yet gobbled on the limb. I think when they started gobbling, they were already on the ground, but it sounds like for sure two turkeys straight through there. And they should be working their way this way. Sounds like they're getting closer. Yeah, they should be working their way anyway, coming out to this pasture. I might yelp at them just real soft, see if they do anything. They didn't get on them too hard. All right, don't screw it up. I'll try my best. Lakey, you thought wrong. <laughs> These gobblers never show up. Only a few hens. So you know our next move. So those hens came through there. So we were locked up, couldn't move for a little while. But in the midst of those hens clucking and the sand here cranes going off, a turkey gobbled. Whether or not the same one we hear this morning, we don't know. But the turkey was, instead of being that way, had moved further down this edge. So we're just trying to pivot real quick and move further down because we know he's going to come out in this pasture, but we're just trying to get to where we can cut him off easier. Well, it sounded like the, the, that gobbler was deep enough in there. If he didn't move, we, we should have made it okay. Yeah. Well, we hadn't heard him in a while, didn't know where they were. And then when we saw that hen pop out on the edge right there, I thought there was a good chance that he was going to be dragging up behind them, or at yeah. least one of them. There's multiple turkeys gobbling in there. Yeah, and those hens, when they left, they ran this yeah. way. So, so who knows? I mean, the hens ran that way, which isn't ideal, but like I said, there's a bunch of different turkeys gobbling in there. Yeah. And Brad said, typically, when they make their way out to this pasture, it's either over there where we were or over towards here, so we didn't waste any time. We picked up and sat down. If we got here without bumping a guy, well, think we'll right, well, it's it's a good spot, so I think we'll be good here. We've got our stakeout blind up and around Jimmy to hide his many movements, cause you know Jimmy is very apt to spook a turkey. <laughs>
Where was I? Behind us. Like dead behind us. Like dead behind us. Like, like, less than a hundred. Close. Close. They're coming this way slow. Can I move? No. I see them. When we finally hear a gobble, it's close and directly behind us. As the camera zooms in past our guide, Brad Gibson, you can see these two longbeards coming out of the swamp. They should have a direct line of sight to our gobstopper decoys, which are right in front of us. I see him, I see him.
Hey, it's not, it's not a big heartbreak. It's, it's just a little heartbreak. It's just a little big heartbreak. Brad, I'm sorry about you blind. He shot a whole lot. <laughs> he shot a second person to do that. He shot a truck. Wait, you, look where you put the, the high part of the blind. <laughs> that was intense. I was sitting there comparing Jordan's tall timber Gabriel to my little heartbreaker. And I just yelped on that tall timber and put it back. And I was just sitting here, had no mask on, nothing. Just clucking with that heartbreaker and then pow, right behind us. Were you able to get on him back there? Oh, yeah, I found him from nowhere, man. Oh, Lord. I found through Brad's head. The holy boy. <laughs> but. You have to pass that for tomorrow. Well, you know, another two or three steps and they were going to be behind this uh, palm tree. I could, you know. I knew something was about to happen because the gun was kind of like at a halfway ready position, but not like it was about to fire. And they started going back to the left. I saw that barrel go whoop. <laughs> <laughs> so something's about to go down. Introducing Renegades the all new and American made semi-auto shotgun from Savage. Made for shooters who put performance above pedigree and don't follow the crowd. From stock to muzzle, it's built to cycle without fail and without compromise. That's the Renegade's way, only from Savage, where better comes standard. You're looking good, buddy. You're looking good. I know it. Thank you. Looking you. as good as you can. All, right. <laughs> All of us at Primo's are proud to be a part of the Drake family of brands. They make stuff for whatever we're hunting, whenever we're hunting. Hot or cold, I love Drake. Drake, always in season. Broke the. Oh yeah, eight, three, four year old. <laughs> oh yeah. What do you think uh, of that? Oh man, look at that. That's some good ones. Huh? That's some real good ones right there. Yeah. He got a little wet flopping around. You're getting blood on my brand new boot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here you go. You can. You hold your turkey. Oh yeah. I love that smell, <laughs> wet feathers, and that's pretty. Oh yeah. Oh man, he was putting on a show too. I guess that's the upside of you not having a shot for a long time. It just means we got to watch them for longer. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those. Sheesh. That's some good Look ones. Look at that. Yeah, that's some real good ones. We got caught. I'm talking like almost. We almost got caught in a bad way. I had a no face mask on, so I was had my face in the dirt. I couldn't yelp on my box call anymore, so Jordan over there is yelping with his mouth. <laughs> it was when I hit that slate, I think. I know. It's when I hit that uh, slate, I think that's when they committed. Oh, what was it? <laughs> I think so. Um, but, uh, you know, we moved, what, about 200 yards. We were over on that other side. Yeah. And we heard one gobble over here, a long well, we way. That, the, that, those hens came out. Yeah. And then those hens and those sandhill cranes started raising all kinds of noise, and a turkey gobbled over here somewhere. Yeah. And so we just decided, let's get up, move, sit down. Move. As I picked up Jordan's tall timber and yelped on it and nothing, and then I picked up my little heartbreaker and was just clucking real soft, uh -huh. and all of a sudden, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I, I think that's covered under your Primo's warranty. Uh, you can call them and uh, You're gonna have to warrant use my it. name. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, Jimmy Primo shot it to pieces. I wasn't gonna let that turkey leave. He was not gonna leave. Well, that was pretty, wasn't it? It was. What do you think about them? Good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a four 
year old bird. Out. I think so. I yeah. You. I, I, I think, think so. Right yes, sir. That's the biggest of the year so I'm, far. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of it. How fine was that, though? That's good. Well, That's the good. beauty of it is, this is only our second morning. We got a lot of time and a lot of hunting left yeah. to do.